Other than Doors and Evade, Please Don't Need stands out as the most popular Roblox game to come out of 2022. Within its first year, it has already garnered 750 million visits, which isn't anything to scoff at. But when you look at these three games closely, you notice something. Please Donate looks the simplest and the easiest game to make, by long shot. Doors and Evade are made by L Splash and Hexagon Development, and both of these groups are filled with talented developers that contribute to the game in a regular basis. Plus, Please Donate is a single solo effort that by a 16 year old that doesn't really get major updates. So how did Please Donate take over with so little? These are the three main reasons. Content. I'm pretty sure you have heard of the Flamingo effect. Whenever Flamingo features a new and unknown game on his channel, the game explodes. YouTubers have a very real effect on Roblox games, especially on their popularity, and especially if that guy is Flamingo. Please Donate has limitless potential in terms of what videos you're able to make for the game, and this is coming from a YouTuber's perspective here. In a more conventional game like Evade, there is a limit on how much content you can make for the game before it turns stale and you have to switch over to something else. Some games have much more content ideas compared to others, but most of the time if a game starts to become stale and YouTubers start leaving, the players do too, and they flock to another game and basically the cycle repeats again. But please donate is different. The opportunities for what content you're able to make are endless. Check out Project Supreme's channel, and you can just see how many videos that he's able to make on this game. A game like Please Donate has a much longer shelf life compared to every other game in Roblox. And this is sustainable too. For people who will become interested in a game again, the developers will have to put a lot of hard work into a major update. Doors went from 40,000 players to 300,000 players during its Hotel Plus update recently, and that took months to do. But what about Please Donate? It doesn't have major updates at all. Sure, a cool new boost are added every now and then, but people mainly don't check out Please Donate for updates anyway. So if a large variety of Roblox YouTubers will willingly promote Please Donate to a huge variety of people, then the second and reason happens. Roblox as a platform has gotten so large that there are many different genres of games found within it. FPS, horror, roleplay, tower defense, bad games, the list goes on. Some games get smarter and attract players outside of their niche. A good example of this will be Arsenal. 70% of Arsenal players have never touched another FPS game in their life. That's why it's so easy. Your competition is 8 year old Arnold on his mom's phone. But please donate is different. It's the only game where it can be enjoyed by literally everyone. Every Roblox player that I know has played Please Donate in some capacity. The anime nerds, the horror enthusiasts, the FPS sweats. Please Donate has such an appeal that is so universal that everyone has played it. But why is that? Why is this game so popular amongst everybody? Well, I think at this point you already know the answer. Roblox is and always will be the most sought after thing among Roblox players. Free Roblox generators were created back in the day just to lure kids into giving up passwords for their Roblox accounts. Many YouTubers back in the day would also donate Robux when it was still legal to do so and would grow massive channels because of it. The point is, before Please Donate, raising Robux without being a developer or content creator was risky. Most of the time, you had to download an external app and do the challenges there to obtain free Robux. This was super shady to do, but Please Donate offers a quick, free, in-house, and completely legit way of making Robux without downloading any shady software or putting in the actual work as a content creator or developer. Well, of course, it's not that simple. You're still at the mercy of the donators after all, but this method of raising Robux is simple simpler and much easier compared to any other alternatives out there. So yeah, Please Donate has built this really unique system of getting Robux in an easier and legit way and basically establishing itself as a monopoly on the Roblox space. And honestly, I don't think this game will pass anytime soon. The game relies on other players to function. So even if Please Donate gets copied, I don't think people would switch over considering more people playing Please Donate means more people actually donating and more free Robux, which is basically the most valuable thing in Roblox. I guess. A really smart idea to be honest and I applaud the creator for coming up with it. And yeah, that's about it for me. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out my previous video where I talked about Roblox no longer being as kid friendly as before. And yeah, I'll see you there.